show that the area of the figure is given by a is equal to 2 pi multiplied by r squared minus 200 r plus 20,000. Okay, this is the kind of equations we expect in optimization. Question 9. So let's take a look at what's happening here and show that a is indeed equal to that expression. A business enterprise has asked you to design an advertising disk that consists of two cycles and has the same shape shown in the figure below. The larger cycle has a radius r and the small cycle head has a radius small letter r. The values of r, capital letter r and small letter r must vary and capital letter r plus small letter r should give you 200 millimeters. To minimize cost, the enterprise also stated that the area of the shape must be a minimum. Okay, that is the information we have. What can we extract from uh, that uh, paragraph there? R plus R is equal to 200. That's what we can extract. And then 9.1, we're supposed to show that the area of the figure is given as this equation here. So let's take a look. We have the bigger cycle and the smaller cycle, right? So the area of the bigger cycle will be pi r squared and the area of the smaller circle will be pi r squared but we need the area of the entire figure so that is going to give us the area of the figure being equals to pi r squared plus pi r squared okay that's somewhere to start that's somewhere we can start but take a look at this in the equation we're given we don't have any small letter r we only have capital letter r so it would be wise of us to write the small letter r in terms of the capital letter r so that in our equation we don't have any small letter r so making small letter r the subject of the formula we get 200 minus capital letter r so our area will be equals to pi r squared the capital letter plus pi and then in place of the small letter r we substitute 200 minus capital letter r and we square that okay so take a look at this we have pi and a pi so we can take that as a common factor so the area will be equal to there we go we have pi as a common factor here we're going to be left with r squared plus 200 minus r squared there we go so the area will be equal to pi r squared that's just r squared what about 200 minus r squared so 200 multiplied by 200 will give us four zero 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 that is forty thousand. we carry the zeros okay and then 200 multiplied by minus r is minus 200 r you multiply that by two you get minus 400 r plus minus r multiplied by minus r that will be r squared so take a look the area will be equal to pi r squared plus r squared will give us 2 r squared and then minus 400 r plus 40 thousand so we are at this point look at how it differs from our equation that we are supposed to prove the only difference now is that here we have pi and then on the equation that we are given we actually have 2 pi we actually have 2 pi so how can we make sure that we have 2 pi we can take out 2 as a common factor from those terms inside the brackets if we do that we're going to get the area being equals to 2 pi we pull 2 out and then we're going to be left with r squared because we have pulled it 2 here we're going to be left with minus 200 r because we have pulled it 2 and then here we're going to be left with plus 20,000 and this is exactly what we're supposed to show so yeah we go 9.1 let's take a look at 9.2 so 9.2 9.2 says that uh, let's determine the values of capital letter r and small letter r if the area of the figure is a minimum so the area is 2 pi r squared minus 200 r plus 20,000. 
we want this to be a minimum so obviously we're going to derivate and equate to zero so when we multiply out with two pi we get two pi r squared <laughs> we are moving in backwards now essentially minus 400 pi r plus 40,000 pi okay now we can derivate okay when we derivate we're gonna get 4 pi r minus 400 pi this will give us zero because we just have constants and then this is what we need to then equate to zero because we want our area to be a minimum so let's pull out uh, well let's just take this 400 pi to the right hand side we don't have to take anything out as a common factor well we can't take four as a common factor but it's okay let's just take 400 pi to the right hand side of which it is going to be positive because it was a negative so okay r will be equals to 400 pi divided by 4 pi okay pi and pi cancels out 4 divided by 4 is 1 so r is equals to 100 so there we go r is equals to 100 but we need to determine the values of capital letter r and small letter r we have capital letter r let's find small letter r small letter r we have said that it is equals to 200 minus capital letter r so we're gonna have 200 minus small letter or capital letter r which is also 100 so this is 100 so take a look at this small letter r and capital letter r are equals to each other they need to be equals to each other for the shape to be a minimum okay 9.3 9.3 says hence explain why the shape suggested by the company is not possible if you want to maintain a minimum area okay let's go back to the given information here what are we missing the values of capital letter r and small letter r must vary that's what's required but in order for this to be a minimum the values of capital letter r and small letter r they must not value they must they must not vary they must all be equals to 100 right so this shape is impossible because they are saying that they want it to be a minimum and they want the values of r and r to vary but that cannot be true at the same time those two events are mutually exclusive here we go